Can you describe how the U.S. government currently safety tests vaccines before they're approved for public use? And this is a question that we got from Lucinda Caruso and a few other folks. So typically, uh, when a company makes a vaccine, they do a series of phase uh, increases in terms of the number of people who are tested. So, so sort of the phase one trial, they're trying to figure out what's the right buffering agent, stabilizing agent, uh, what the right dose, the right number of doses, how, whether all strains need to be there. Then they think they've got it. They think this is going to be the vaccine. So then they go to phase two, which involves a couple hundred people, which will tell them there whether or not there's a common serious adverse event. Then it goes to phase three, which is tens of thousands of people that get either vaccine or placebo. And um, that will tell them whether or not there's a relatively uncommon serious problem with the vaccine, serious safety problem. Then comes the bigger trial. Once the vaccine is out there, there's so-called post-marketing surveillance systems like the vaccine safety data link, which then will tell you whether there's a rare serious adverse event. And COVID is a perfect example. I mean, myocarditis was a um, rare adverse event associated with the mRNA vaccines. It occurred in roughly totally about one in 50,000 people. It was higher in certain subgroups. That was picked up within weeks. And then with the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, which was a, the so-called adenovirus vector vaccine, um, that very quickly was found to be a rare cause of, of clotting, including serious clotting, that occurred in one in 250,000 people, so extremely rare, and yet picked up quickly. 